The Nigerian Army Day celebration is an annual event held on 6 July in solemn remembrance of the historic first shot which marks the commencement of the country's unfortunate 30-month civil war to keep Nigeria one. Consequently, the Nigerian Army uses the day to reflect on its performances in the previous year and make projections for the following year. The Nigerian Army Day celebration was first celebrated on 6 July 1978. This 2018 celebration also marks the 155th year of the existence of the Nigerian Army. This year's Nigerian Army Day celebration, which had as its theme, the Nigerian Army and National Security, a panacea for Nigeria's economic development, commenced with a press briefing by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuri Soburatai. He stated that the week-long celebration is an important annual event in the calendar of the Nigerian Army due to its significance. This unfortunate 30 months long Nigerian civil war was announced by a shot that was fired on the 6th of July 1967 at Kalkem, which is a which is in present day Cross River State. The Nigerian Civil War was fought to keep Nigeria won, and a lot of soldiers paid the supreme price in that process. The Nigerian Army Day celebration is therefore a constant reminder of sacrifices paid by troops, most of whom, as I said, laid down their lives to ensure we remain united as a nation. It offers the Nigerian Army an opportunity to take stock, access its performances, interface with the public, set goals for a succeeding year with a view to ascertaining a highly professional army that is well trained and combat ready. Furthermore, the celebration affords us the opportunity to celebrate our evolution, achievements and also to showcase our transformational strides in the area of innovation, research and development, civil military relations and technological advances. This is in addition to projecting the Nigerian Army as an instrument of national unity, integration and development. This year's Nigerian Army Day will be marking 155 years of its existence, dating back to its inception in 1863. We are aware of the many security challenges that have bedeviled this country in the last decade or so. However, I am pleased to say that the Nigerian Army has made giant strides in this regard, particularly in the last one year. Our security architecture as a country is one with a very positive outlook. We have not only consolidated on the gains established in the fight against insurgency in the Northeast, but have progressed to the post-stabilization phase where all efforts are geared toward ensuring displaced persons return to their ancestral homes, which are now relatively safe. In this regard, I directed that an operation called Operation Last Hold be conducted in the fringes of Lake Chad Waters and Northern Pornong. Uh, this operation is a humanitarian one in which we seek to return the internally displaced persons and also provide the much needed security and guarantee for them to return to their economic activities of farming, fishing and trading. With the degradation of the insurgents, it is time to encourage our people to return to their ancestral homes. Also, a special Jumat and interdenominational church services were held in all Nigerian army barracks in the nation. In a sermon at the Memalari Cantonment, Central Mosque Medigre, the Director of Islamic Affairs, Brigadier General Shegu Mustafa, thanked Allah for the opportunity given to personnel to witness and participate in this year's Army Day celebration. He advised Muslim faithful to be prayerful in all their activities and to desist from extremism as well as arrogant behaviors because this 
could lead believers to hell. The religion of Islam is a religion of what is called al wasatiya Moderation. Moderation. Everything that you do, you do it moderate. Don't allow yourself, don't find it, don't allow yourself to be in a state of laxity or extremism. But be moderate. What is the meaning of moderate? To do what Islam says you should do and stop them. Without a reduction or addition. Subtraction and addition. Stop there. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those who believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, categorical statement in the Holy Quran. Direct speech, direct instructions. Direct statement to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran. First taking Kama Umirta, practice Islam as it is prescribed in the Holy Quran and stop there. In a good way message to the troops, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuriya Suburatai, reiterated his commitment at ensuring that the Nigerian Army becomes more professionally responsive and the pride of the nation, in particular in Africa at large. Sanitation exercises were carried out as parts of civil military relations activities in selected locations. The Chief of Army Star who flagged off the sanitation exercise at Gudumbali also donated two tractors to Guzamala local government area in order to ease farming activities in the area as well as commissioned a cenotaph of a former location of 157 Tox Force Battalion that was attacked by the Boko Haram terrorist. I'm pleased to be here to flag off the sanitation exercise for the Nigerian Army Day celebration 2018. Uh, this exercise is currently ongoing in all Nigerian Army formations. And we chose this place as a symbolic gesture to form a further consolidate on our successes in the Northeast. Uh, operation against the Boko Haram insurgents. This sanitation exercise is one of the series of activities which will be taking place during the week-long Nigerian Army Day celebration 2018. 
Uh, the Nigerian Army is uh, supporting the family efforts here with additional two tactics. Today we are going to formally commission this senator in memory of our fallen heroes, especially those that pay the supreme price here in Zamala local government and indeed the whole of uh, Northern Borno. Uh, this senator will remain in our memories so that it will be a symbol that anyone that comes here will associate himself and pray for the repose of the fallen heroes in this operation. I honor and privilege to cut this step formally in memory of uh, fallen, uh, fallen heroes, and they will forever remain in our hearts. So help us, God. Amen. In the same day of the interdenominational church service held at St. Bartholomew Military Church, Mimilari Cantonment, Medugure, the officiating priest the Vicar and Director of Chaplain Services, Protestant, Brigadier General, Reverend Dawok Danfulani, and joint personnel and their families to always put their trust in God, stating that victory comes from God alone. In a goodwill message to the troops, the chief of army staff, who was represented by the chief of training and operations, Major General David Hakmadu, reiterated his untiring commitment at ensuring that the Nigerian army becomes more professionally responsive and the pride of the nation and Africa at large. I am glad and full of joy to bring you this good message on this occasion. Victory and destruction 
As part of activities marking this year's Nigerian Army Day celebration, the Nigerian Army also organized free medical outreach at Polo Jidari, Medigree Metropolis, where the Chief of Army staff administered vaccines on children. The 2018 Army Day celebration had in attendance 
Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, Vice President, Members of the National Assembly, State Governors, Service Chiefs, Senior Military Officers, Serving and Retired, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Heads of other security agencies, among others. Vice President Yami Oshibajo, who was also the guest of honor at the Mini Trade Fair and Military Equipment Exhibition, stated that the Nigerian Army has been present at every phase and epoch of our national journey in good times and bad, even long before we became a nation. The Army has been present at every phase and epoch of our national journey in good times and in bad, even long before we became a nation. It has fought wars at home and abroad to secure the country and keep it united. It has produced leaders and statesmen and suffered loss and setback. In all of this, it has kept going proudly. The theme of this year's celebration Nigerian Army and National Security, a panacea for Nigeria's economic development, fittingly connects security and economic development. As President Muhammad Buhari has often said, you can only develop a country that you have first secured successfully. But it also points to the incredible opportunities and tasks of internal security that the Army have been involved in almost without a break for the last two years, in Kaduna, in Benue, in Taraba, in Zamfara, and lately in Plateau. But nowhere is the connection between security and economic development more palpably evident than here in Borno State, the hardest hit of Nigeria's 36 states by the Boko Haram insurgency. Those who knew the state before the insurgency would readily testify to its entrepreneurial and commercial energy, as well as its cultural clout. The Dugori has always been a melting pot for people from all across the country, and even beyond, merchants, students, tourists, helped by its status as the terminus of Nigeria's Eastern Railway Line, running more than a thousand kilometers from Patakot beyond Nigeria. Bono's grains and fish travel beyond Nigeria to markets and homes across West Africa. But in the last 10 years, Boko Haram has done everything humanly and even inhumanly possible to annihilate the home of peace. We are here to celebrate the gallantry of our soldiers, men and women from every part of Nigeria, of different faiths and tribes and tongues, gathered to fight and defeat a common enemy. We are also celebrating the resilience of the people of Bono and reaffirming that our primary obligation to them as a government is to ensure that they are able to return to their communities and rebuild their lives and livelihoods in peace and safety. In the last three years, we have seen the gradual return to life to many parts of Bono State and we've recently heard, even here, of so many that have returned home. Schools have reopened, airlines have resumed flights, religious celebrations are back on the streets after being driven indoors at the height of the insurgency. Major roads and highways have been reopened. I'm told that even the El Kanemi Warriors football club are now back playing their home games in my degree after being forced to go on exile for years. Zambisa Forest, once a symbol of Boko Haram's domination of the region, is now being reclaimed. And the work of rebuilding has started in many communities and villages across this great state. Indeed, we are here to celebrate all of these wonderful successes and progress. But we are also here to remember, to remember the tens of thousands who have lost their lives to this needless violence the innocent civilians and the vigilante and military dead who paid the ultimate sacrifice to preserve the security and sovereignty of Nigeria. We will never forget, and we shall continually strive to work to build a Nigeria in which terrorists, bandits, and criminals of all sorts 
shall have neither way nor sway in this land. Various organizations, including Adamawa, Baronu, and Yobe Chambers of Commerce and Industry, other affiliate members, were at the occasion to showcase their products as well as the rich cultural heritage of their various state, while the Nigerian army also showcased its prototype helicopter as well as the mines resistance anti-armor protection vehicle locally manufactured by the Nigerian army in partnership with Pro Force Company Limited, an indigenous company. It is delightful to note that the Nigerian army has invited various organizations such as the Adamawa, Bono and Yobe Chambers of Commerce and Industry and their affiliates to the Mini Trade Fair and Military Equipment Exhibition section of this year's celebrations to showcase their products as well as the rich cultural heritage of their various states. This year's Nigeria Army Day celebration has also been an opportunity to showcase the Nigerian Army's achievements and transformational strides in research and development and technological advances, innovation, and also in civil-military relations. It is this hopeful and vibrant displays of life and culture and commerce that terrorists and insurgents desperately wish to stifle. Indeed, the first signs of victory over them are to be found in our boisterous defiance of the climate of fear and terror that they have stoked over the past few years. The Nigeria Army Day Celebration 2018 is proof that Boko Haram has been substantially degraded and that its complete end will come much sooner rather than later. In their separate remarks, the Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Ogbonaya Onu, the Senate President, Senator Bukola Saraki, represented by the Chairman Senate Committee on Defense, Senator George Akume, and Chairman House Committee, Army Honorable Ramande Shawulu, commend the Nigerian Army for its technological advancement and self reliance. I congratulate and highly commend the Chief of Army staff, his officers and soldiers for organizing this important event in this unique location at this particular time in the history of our great nation. I especially commend our military for their gallantry in battle and their numerous efforts aimed at fostering national unity, national integration, and the maintenance of peace in our dear nation. The nation owes a lot of gratitude to our armed forces in the various achievements that you have made in the fight against insurgency in the northeast of our country. We are here today because our armed forces have worked so hard to ensure that no insurgent is allowed to control any part of our country. All Nigerians remain very grateful to you for this spectacular achievement. You are choice of this venue for the Nigerian Army Day celebration 2018 is a clear testimony of the great achievements made by our military in the past three years. It is necessary to remember that the unity of this country has been central to the presence and activities of the Nigerian Army. Your efforts in internal security operations these keeping missions and support operations, military operations other than war, and many other efforts in the service of our dear country, and indeed the African region, is not without great commendation. These have certainly stood the Nigerian army out as a strong and professional institution. I also commend the Nigerian Army for the sense 
of innovation in organizing this trade fair exhibition in collaboration with Adamawa, Borno, and Yobe State's Chambers of Commerce and Industry. This novel program will no doubt foster further intersectoral cooperation, research, and industrial development, not only here in the Northeast zone, but in the entire country. Let me see this opportunity to commend the Nigerian Armed Forces for their efforts in containing the notorious Boko Haram insurgency, which has caused monumental loss of lives and economic ruins in the country, particularly in the Northeast Axis. Indeed, your sacrifices and commitment in the war and the achievements you have recorded in degrading the insurgents are well acknowledged and commendable. Vice President Yemi Oshibaja, who was accompanied by the Executive Governor of Borno State, Honorable Minister of Defense, the Chief of Army Staff, and other eminent personalities, were conducted round various stands at the exhibition by the Chairman Exhibition Committee and Chief of Innovation and Transformation, Major General Chikezie Ude. <laughs> So the steel band is also provided by the, the manufacturers here in Nigeria. The event also witnessed the Chief of Army Staff Commendation Award to deserving officers and soldiers who distinguished themselves in various disciplines, while late Surgeon Patience Bion Bion was posthumously conferred with Shield Award received by Sergeant Seth Audu on behalf of the deceased. At the grand finale with climaxes activities marking the Nigerian Army Day Celebration 2018, the special guest of honor, President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, commissioned the Mines Resistance Anti-Armor Protection Vehicle, locally manufactured by Nigerian Army, in partnership with Pro Force Company Limited. See, right now we've ordered that eight, and this is the first two that they have delivered to the Nigerian Army. Thank you, sir. I'm very pleased that there is uh, a lot of uh, national input in this production, make it perhaps more affordable. Federal government to provide the, um, the army and please uh, to be briefed on this uh, national in technology transfer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. After the commissioning, His Excellency went around to inspect the vehicle as well as the prototype helicopter locally manufactured by Proforce Company Limited, an indigenous company. This year's Army Day celebration also witnessed airborne jump and rappelling as well as demonstration of raid operation by special forces and rescue missions as expository of troops' combat capacity and readiness. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Yusuf Tukuburatai, stated that the 2018 edition of the Nigerian Army Day celebration is unique and intended to celebrate the Army's achievement as well as showcase a transformational strides in innovation, research and development, civil military relations and technological advances. General Buratai expressed optimism that the Nigerian army will consolidate in its successes against the Boko Haram insurgent who are currently on the run and will ensure safety and stability of returnees in their various communities to enable them to continue their legitimate activities. May I, on behalf of the entire Nigerian army family, most sincerely thank Your Excellency 
Commander in Chief Rose Mahmoud Buhari for finding time to grace this occasion. The events for this year's Nigeria Army Day celebration began since 29th of June and is climaxing today here in Monguno. This year's celebration is unique as it is intended to celebrate the Nigeria Army's achievements as well as showcase the Army's transformational strides in innovation, research, and development, civil military relations, and technological advances. Recent developments in our country, in our security environment, have necessitated the need for the Nigerian Army to intensify efforts in research and development. The country's contemporary security threats requires readiness by the Nigerian Army in the area of training and equipment to counter them. This is the reason why we have infused the first time, for the first time ever, Nigerian Army humanitarian operations, military equipment display, exhibition, and also a mini trade fair in the week-long celebrations. It is a complete deviation from the traditional parade and show of force. Your Excellency, the theme for this year's celebration is the Nigerian Army and National Security, a panacea for Nigeria's economic development. This theme was carefully chosen in line with Your Excellency's cardinal policies on security, economy, and anti-corruption, as well as to reflect the Nigerian Army's technological strides and contribution to national security and development. The Nigerian Army has keyed into the policy drive of Mr. President and is ever willing to contribute its quota to national security and economic development. This year's Army Day celebration climaxed with Operation Last Hold, which is strategically designed to ease the total defeats of Boko Haram remnants, facilitate the relocation of internally displaced persons to their communities, restore fishing, farming and other economic activities in the Lake Chad Basin, as well as improve civil military relations. All these are evidences that the Nigerian army is not only proficient in counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations, but has also keyed into technological and economic drive of the current administration to achieve self-sufficiency and local production of some of our defense needs. The Nigerian Army is currently conducting Operation Last Hold here in Northern Borno. This operation is a unique humanitarian operation as it is aimed at facilitating the return of internally displaced persons from the various camps back to their ancestral homes. It is also aimed at providing the much needed security for our farmers to return to their farms during this planting season and beyond. Following the degradation of the Boko Haram insurgents, it is now time for our people to, who were caught in the midst of the fight against the Boko Haram terrorists to return to their ancestral homes. So far, Your Excellency, in Gudumbali district alone, more than 25,000 farmers who were formerly internally displaced persons have returned back home within a period of just one week. More are still returning. Other towns in Borno said that the former internally displaced persons have returned are in Bama, Kukawa, and its environs, where about 22,500 and 10,109 former IDPs, respectively, have returned. In his remarks, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olonishaki, commended the Nigerian Army's continued assistance to internally displaced persons in the Northeast and efforts to relocate them back to their central homes and resume farming, fishing, and other economic activities. 
General Olonu Shakin stated that the achievements of sustainable peace and stability needed in the region for economic development is commendable as opposed to the practice in the past where armed banditry was the other of the day and expressed optimism that sustainable peace and stability have been achieved in the Northeast. The 2018 edition of the Nigerian Army Daily Day celebration has clearly brought to the fore not only the combat efficiency of the Nigerian Army, but also its ability to facilitate humanitarian and socioeconomic activities necessary for the construction and rehabilitation of the area affected by the Boko Haram insurgency. As the chief of the defense staff of the armed forces of Nigeria, I feel elated to have witnessed the beginning and today the grand finale of the Nigerian Army Day celebration 2018. I sincerely rejoice with the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tiwa Guratai, officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army on this grand occasion. It is important to highlight the achievement of the Nigerian Army Day celebration especially as it signifies the continuation of socioeconomic activities in the Northeast for the development of our dear country, Nigeria, following the defeat of the Boko Haram insurgency. This year's celebration future exhibition of military hardware, firepower demonstration and a payphone display. It also involved a trade fair by various manufacturing industries, humanitarian agencies, and entrepreneurs and various outreaches to the local communities. All these are enough evidence that the Nigerian Army is not only proficient in counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations, but also appreciates the importance of non-kinetic humanitarian operations using civil military cooperation as a tool to facilitate reconstruction at the end of hostilities and win the hearts and minds of the local populace. These two broad approaches have clearly achieved the strategic objective of peace and stability as amplified by Operation Last Call, which comprises both kinetic and non-kinetic activities for containing the remnants of Boko Haram insurgents in the Lake Chad Basin, thereby facilitating the safe return of internally displaced persons to their ancestral homes. Also, the Honorable Minister of Defense, Mohammed Mansour Dan Ali, acknowledged that it is worthy to celebrate the Nigerian Army, one of the nation's values of national power. The Minister commended the Army for showcasing the various locally manufactured products in the northeastern states, which were evidences that the Nigerian Army has keyed into the economic development policy of the present administration through its drive to revive local activities in the affected areas. As we celebrate today, it is important to reflect on the successes achieved in the defense sector in the last three years. This will no doubt help to capture a clear essence where we need to celebrate one of our elements of national power, which is the military. The military fair and military equipment as mission, which is part of the event, was to showcase the various products manufactured in our great nation, particularly in the northeastern states. It is noteworthy that the Nigerian army has keyed into the economic development policy of the present administration through its drive to revive local activities in the war-affected areas of the northeast. This is commendable development and worthy of emulation and the credit goes to the current leadership of the Nigerian Army. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the last three years, the Forces of Nigeria has had proposed sectoral reforms to enable it to meet its contemporary security challenges. These reforms led to the expansion of the armed forces in the area of training capacity, whereby three war colleges were recently established by the Army, Navy, and the Air Force, respectively, to bridge the knowledge gap between lip, uh, middle level officers in application of operational adaptation and war fighting principles. In his remarks, 
His Excellency the Executive Governor of Bruno State, Al Haji Kashim Shetima, lauded the efforts of the Nigerian army in the restoration of peace in the state. To the people of Borno and the Northeast as a whole, Your Excellency, if the institution, the isolation, and destruction are not subjects of philosophical dispute, but realities of everyday life four years ago. We were facing real existential threats but our people is passed all around the world. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank the Nigerian Armed Forces enough for saving us from existential threats. So we have moved from the days days of pessimism to the days days of optimism. Your Excellency, even your fiercest critics must concede to you that we have crossed the Rubicon in the counterinsurgency operations in the Northeast. I want to thank you on behalf of the government and people of the Northeast for the empathy, for the support you have shown to us. And I want to thank the Nigerian Armed Forces for saving us from the precipice. In a remark during the grand finale, President Muhammad Buhari commended the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tokuri Soburatai, and troops of the Nigerian Army for their resilience, courage, and meticulous efforts in keeping Nigeria one. I am particularly elated with the choice of the venue for this year's celebration here in Munguru, Northern Borno State. The choice of this venue is very noteworthy and assuring to all Nigerians that the negative history which was associated with the Northeast in the past decade is now gradually becoming a thing of the past. We are aware of the effects of Boko Haram insurgency on the livelihood, economy, and security of the Northeast people. I am very much aware that this year's week-long celebration began on Friday, 29th of June, and is culminating today, the 6th of July, 2018. This year's celebration is designed to showcase Nigerian Army's personal and the equipment as well as the combat capability of the Nigerian Army. I am also aware that this occasion is intended to celebrate Nigerian Army's achievements and also to emphasize the Army's transformational strides in innovation, research and development, civil military relations and technological advances. Furthermore, today's event has provided the military operation, codenamed Operation Last Hold, opportunity to showcase its skills. He stated that the celebration is very much in line with his administration's three cardinal policies, which are security, economy, and anti-corruption. He said the theme chosen for this year's celebration is very apt and will offer much needed solutions to the overall security architecture of Nigeria. This year's celebration is very much in line with this administration's three cardinal policies, which are security, economy, and anti-corruption. The theme chosen for this year's celebration, in the quote, Nigerian Army, and national security, a penalty for economic development, unquote, is very apt and will offer much needed solution to the overall security architecture of our nation. In the last three years of this administration, we have worked tirelessly 
to ensure and preserve the dignity and sanctity of life. When I was sworn in as the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I promised that this administration will tackle the challenges of insecurity, poor economy, and fight corruption. We are all witnesses to the fact that our once battered economy as a nation has exerted recession and is once again liberant. Our nation is safe again thanks to the efforts of our security agencies. I want to use this opportunity to reassure the world, Nigerians and the families of the remaining kidnapped Chibo girls and Lei Shuaibu of the deputy school girls that this administration will not relent in our efforts to see that they are all released. I also want to assure all Nigerians that the issue of farmers and husband clashes is being tackled and all those found culpable would be brought to justice. Let me quickly remind us at this point to always be tolerant, loving, and ready to give peace a chance. President Buhari commended the daily and steady progress of the gallant troops as they carry out clearance operations along the fringes of Lake Chad Basin and Northern Borono, as a result of which members of the Boko Haram insurgents now surrender willingly in their numbers to troops. It is gratifying to hear on daily basis the progress of our gallant troops as they carry out clearance operations along the fringes of Lake Chad waters and Northern Borno, members of the Boko Haram insurgents now surrender willingly in their numbers to our troops. I am happy to inform Nigerians that all other forms of security challenges in other parts of the country are being tackled by our security agencies accordingly. The president expressed satisfaction on the efforts made by security agencies to tackle all other forms of security challenges in other parts of the country. He applauded the chief of defense staff and service chiefs for their role in leading their subordinates in protecting the country and the citizens. May I commend the chief of defense staff, chief of army staff, and all other service chiefs for their role in leading our gallant troops to protect the country and its people. It is evident that we are now in the post-complex stabilization phase, which has been made possible by the good work of the armed forces. I therefore task all other relevant government agencies with immediate effect to begin to perform their respective goals in this post stabilization phase. Today is a perfect opportunity for me to again sincerely commend members of the armed forces, particularly the Nigerian army, for their role in the defeat of the Boko Haram insurgents and for the many sacrifices they have made in ensuring the safety of our great nation. I am aware that many have paid the supreme price in order to make us live without fear. To these gallant heroes, I say your sacrifices will never be in vain. May the Almighty God continue to grant them all eternal rest. Once again, congratulations to Nigerian Army Day Celebration 2018. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
A grand gala night was also organized for dignitaries to mark the successful end of the 2018 Army Day celebration, during which the Chief of Army staff thanked invited guests and the various organizing committee for their tireless efforts which soared to the success of a celebration. Let me use this opportunity to thank Almighty God for giving all of us good health and keeping us alive to witness the Nigerian Army Day celebration. I also sincerely want to thank our dear President, Commander in Chief, President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, for the time he took to be with us uh, yesterday in Monguno. Equally, I must thank the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, and all our special guests who also took our time to celebrate with us despite the distances and their busy engagements. I say a special thanks to our Chief Host, the Governor State Governor, His Excellency Aladi Kachin Fetima, for the warm hospitality to us and all the visitors that attended the Nigerian Army Day celebration in Mambuno 2018. Let me also commend the organizers of this year's event for a job well done. I want to also thank once again all the staff officers of Army Headquarters and indeed all the general officers commanding and co-commanders who have actively participated through the equipment display. I want I want also forget our international participants who came all the way from Namibia, Pakistan, as well as some countries in Europe to participate in the trade fair and exhibition in Bambuno. Their presence really added color and added the international flavor that has made this Yes, Nigerian Army Day celebration more unique. And uh, this gala night further symbolizes the return of peace to the Northeast. And, and we give glory to Almighty God. Thank you and God bless. Cultural troops also entertained guests at the event.